The US Army took delivery of almost 7,000 Bradley vehicles in a number of configurations. These were basically the M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicle and the M3 Bradley cavalry vehicle. The last ones came off the line over 20 years ago. They've already been upgraded on a number of occasions through the Bradley A1, the A2, and the A3, and a number of sub-variants. But over the years, the weight of the vehicle has increased. And the first phase is to put some what they call engineering change proposals through to restore some of that capability, particularly on, on the mobility. Obviously, the vehicle gets heavier, the acceleration is slower, the top speed is slower, and the ground clearance is lower. So what they're showing this year for the very first time is the Bradley New Generation prototype. This has been developed by BA Systems using independent research and development funding and has been completed in about nine months. As you can see, it's got an additional armour package. Underneath, it's got lots of improvements, including a, uh, a new transmission, which is more efficient. And it's designed to have a gross weight of 45 tonnes with a stretch potential to 50 tonnes. As you can see, it's got the standard Bradley tower with a 25mm M242, the sighting system and tow launchers. But inside, it's been reconfigured. The fuel tanks have been moved from inside the vehicle to outside to make more, more room. And the tow launcher re and the tow missiles, which are normally manually loaded, are now moved on the outside, again, to provide more survivability. So this one weighs about 45 tonnes, but has a gross stretch potential to about 50 tonnes. And as you can see, it's currently got torsion bar suspension, but it could potentially have hydromatic suspension um, to give it better mobility. Other improvements include uh, the 600 volt electronic system and the final drives for the M109 i7 sub powered hitcher, which is currently in low rate production. And what they've tried to do is leverage some of the technology which was used in the now cancelled future combat system and, and the ground combat vehicle, try and drag some of that technology into the Bradley to extend its life out through well beyond 2035. At the moment, it's got the 25 millimeter cannon, but it could well in the future be upgraded with a larger caliber weapon, perhaps even a 30 millimeter Mark 44, or, or even perhaps even a remote control turret. So being shown for the first time, it will start its trials after the show, but it does give you some flavor of what can be done with an old vehicle to upgrade its survivability and mobility to extend its operational life.